As you add more content to your spreadsheets, you can reorganize your data by sorting it either alphabetically or numerically. But there are a few pitfalls you need to know about so you can avoid them and the sort to work properly. Before we get started, we're going to freeze the top row and move the category column C before the description of expenses in column B. To show you exactly what happens when we use the sorting options, I will color code few of the top and bottom rows so you can tell how sorting can affect the data. Let's use the sort option. Go to data, sort sheet. You will have two options to choose from, ascending A to Z increasing order or descending Z to A decreasing order. Notice that it tells us that it will sort the sheet by column B as that is where our cursor is. We didn't specify which column we want to sort our data. It assumed it based on our position. When I selected the ascending option, our data got sorted, but it also sorted our debt and savings rows at the very bottom, which we didn't want to include in the sort of all expenses. Let's go back and select the rows that we want to sort. We only want row 10 to row 54. I will select the ascending sort sheet option again. That changed nothing. Everything got sorted, including the debt and saving rows, even though I didn't select them. The reason why is that the sort sheet option sorts everything on that tab, entire worksheet. You can't select only a section to sort. The way to sort only part of your data is to use the sort range option. However, you also have to avoid few pitfalls. I'm going to select my column B and go to data sort range. Similarly, I have an ascending and descending options for my selected column B. Even though my lower row for debt and savings were not included in the sort, another problem occurred. My January through December columns were not sorted. So now the expense categories don't correspond to the correct numbers. The reason why is that you have to specify the entire range to sort all the rows and columns you want to include. Once we do that though, we don't have the option to sort by column B, only column column A, which is the first column in our range. If you want to select a different column, scroll down to advanced range sorting options. Here we can specify which column we want to use for sorting. If you have headers like we do, you want to make sure you check that option, otherwise the first row will also be sorted. Now everything was beautifully sorted, only the selected rows and all the corresponding columns. Perfect. However, even though our categories in column B were sorted, our expenses in column C are not. With the sorting range option, you can add multiple sorting columns. You can sort first by categories and then by expenses and any other additional column you want. At any point, you can also delete one of the sorting columns. Everything looks great now. Notice how columns right of column O were not sorted as they were not part of the selection. Until now, we sorted text, but you can also do the same with numbers and dates. One note of caution, you sort may sometimes not work work on numbers, but there is a reason why and we can easily fix it. If I try to sort my amounts in the January column, it is not sorted right. The $1,050 is before $100 and $280 before $30. I do not have the same issue though when I sort my data in the February column. Everything is sorted correctly. The reason why is that when I check the data type in column D and E, the January numbers are stored as text. That is why the sort option doesn't do it correctly. The way to fix it, it is to convert the January data to numbers such as currency. Once we do that, the sort option works perfectly. Thanks so much for watching.